They are worthless husks. Because this isn't a democracy. This is a group of parasites who are mere puppets on strings, dancing to the tune of the globalists. And really, when you look further, it's ruled by media. It's ruled by a tyrannical media run by a foreign influence, controlled by a foreign power. They want the right to peek at every facet of your life. But that's not the end game. And there's an important distinction there. The tyranny is not the end game. The end game is our destruction. The end game of these people is to replace us. The end game of these parasite politicians and this foreign enemy media is white genocide. The end goal of these people is to replace the indigenous people of every European nation and to ensure that every sovereign individual nation no longer exists. That we are a borderless mass of nothing. That is their goal and we must never forget that. And you might ask me, well then Mark, are we going to win? And I say, it is my belief that we will win. It is my belief that we will take back our land. Because I cannot see the greatest people who ever walked the earth being destroyed by these internationalists. However, I can't promise you victory because I have no time machine. I have no way of giving you solid guarantees. But I can say this. Do you have to be ensured victory in order to fight? Because at the end of the day, whether we think we're going to make it or not, should never be up for debate. And that is the question we have to ask ourselves as a people. Do we want to survive? Do we want our children to have a future? Of course we do. You see, even if our end is inevitable, even if this is all written, even if we don't win, even if our demise is inevitable, we must fight against that inevitability. We must fight against that inevitability in order to carve some meaning from something that otherwise would be meaningless. And we may just be playing our part in this cycle that repeats over and over again. But amongst the flames of multiculturalism, there is another flame. The flame of the European people. The flame of our spirit. Something that lives on inside every man, woman and child of European descent. And we're the guardians, the custodians of that flame. And it's our job to make sure it carries on burning. And we must never, ever give in. Because if we never give in, there is always hope. And where hope exists, there is always a way. And a great man once said, only he is lost who gives himself up for loss. And in fact, European history is littered with the tales of great men and women who stood against such overwhelming odds only to triumph, only to complete their cycle. And in the darkest of times, the greatest people always rise to do their duty to save their people. And that now falls on our shoulders. It falls on our shoulders to carry out the most noble of all duties that could be bestowed upon us. We must secure an existence for our people and a future for white children. Oh.